So hey guys, one of the projects I want to do today is I want to go down and take a look at this field. Uh, it's about a thousand acres and it's got nothing but solar panels on it. It's supposed to supply like Minnesota with like 1.5% of its energy using these solar panels or roughly power 20,000 homes. Solar is something we've been thinking about um, just because our power is always so up and down. It wasn't even really put in by our power company. It was by some sort of rural development type thing somewhere in the late 50s and our, our power just seems to go up and down. I mean, the year that we moved in, the power was out for over a week, and depending on the time of year, that, that can be kind of a cr critical thing, which is a big part of the reason we're really big advocates of wood heat, uh, just so we're not affected by stuff like that. But we have other things like our well that run off that, so eventually, somewhere down the road, we'd like to get to the point where we can power a well, maybe with some strings of lights, um, maybe our, our septic system, uh, maybe a dryer or an oven, uh, depending, you know, obviously that draws a lot of power. It's something that we'd like to potentially get to, but solar is a pretty big investment. But I wanted to get down, take a look at this field a little bit, just get an idea on how the scale of things, and thought I'd take you guys along. unbelievable you got a whole bunch on all over the place you got a bunch all out as far as I can see out that way and then you got this block of house and then if you look way out there there's a whole nother big field plus there's more over on the other side of this road that I'm coming up on here unbelievable how much space this is So I have to admit, this is kind of neat looking at this on a large scale. It's a little different than I thought. I mean, there's a big field out that way, a big field out this way, another one out that way. And it's sort of wrapped around a lot of these little farms and houses out here. Um, I don't know if I'd be super excited about looking at some of this stuff. Uh, but at the same time, you know, look at like a wind turbine or something like that. And they talk about the damage to birds. And I mean, you can see that for miles. It's definitely got a lot lower footprint. But it has raised some questions a little bit as well for me. Uh, just noticing how they got the panels all set up. They got a lot of them facing north, which I would think you'd want them facing south. Uh, I mean, at least that's what I've observed. You know, when we open our windows on the southern side of our house in the winter months, we get a lot more radiant heat in there. We just have to burn less wood. And something like this, I would assume, I, I don't know, I'm definitely no solar expert here. I'm trying to learn about this stuff and just thought I'd look at this on a large scale. but. I would think uh, you'd want a lot of stuff facing south. So maybe they just haven't got everything hooked up because you know they built all this last summer. Maybe there's more inverters. Maybe everything's just not set up and ready to go yet here. But I definitely do like the idea of something like this uh, versus like a nuclear plant. I used to live by a nuclear plant. Um, when I lived out in Big Lake. They had one out there in Monticello. I think it was like 25 miles away or something like that. You'd always get all these papers in the mail and warnings. And at the same time, you can't help but wonder, you know, look at Japan and that earthquake they have. And supposedly, I mean, it's like five years later. And I, what I read recently is that, that one of those uh, reactors is still leaking. So something like this is, well, I mean, it definitely takes up a footprint, but a uh, much more of a safer alternative. Um, I, I at least like it a little bit better than the idea of nuclear type stuff. Some of our power plants here as well, I know um, they just got done cutting like 70 acres over at one of our neighbor's place, uh, logging that. 
to use for the power plant. I know some of that is generated, or some of the energy here is generated with wood as well. I'm guessing that's kind of a, a alternative to the coal since a lot of places are really trying to move away from coal. So I don't know, it's pretty interesting taking a look at this. I thought I'd just kind of take you guys along, give you an idea. It's the first time I've been out here and just wanted to see what it was like. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Look at this, there's even more over here. I didn't even see this field. <laughs>